In this lesson, I'll show you an example on how to find the inverse of a matrix using its adjoint. The question reads, find the inverse of A for the given matrix. So this matrix here is A. According to the formula provided underneath, what you have to do is find a determinant of the matrix, reciprocate it, which is this part, and then multiply it by its adjoint. To find the adjoint matrix, you need to find the cofactor matrix and then transpose that. We've already gone through a lesson on how to find the cofactor matrix, but in case you missed it, here's how to do it. Each of these elements need to be crossed out one by one. So starting with the first element of one, I cross out the row in the column, I end up with a minor of 0, 1, 4, and negative 5. 0, 1, 4, and negative 5, in which I have to find the determinant of. Finding the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix is easy. We multiply this by a cofactor of negative 1 raised to the power where the row and the column is. So the row is 1, the column is 1, we add that up, it's 2. So negative 1 to the power of 2 is positive 1. And now we will multiply positive 1 to the determinant of this minor. That's found by taking 0 times negative 5, the product of the diagonal, that's equal to 0, minus the product of the other diagonal. So 0 minus 4 is negative 4. This means the first element in our cofactor matrix of A is negative 4. Now we have to repeat this for every single element. That means we have to do this nine times. I'll show you the first three, and then you can use the same technique to finish off that cofactor matrix. So this time, let's do two. We cross out its row and its column. We end up with the minor of negative one, one, two, and negative five. And we'll multiply this by the factor of negative one raised to the power of row one plus column two, that's three. That makes that negative. The determinant of this two by two matrix is negative one times negative five, that's positive five, minus two, that's three. So three times negative one is negative three. Doing this one more time, this time for negative two, we have the minor of negative one, zero, two, and four. Multiply that by negative one raised to the power of four this time, that becomes positive one. Negative one times four is negative four minus zero, negative four times positive one is negative four. If you do this correctly, your final cofactor matrix should look like this. The next step is to transpose the matrix and this will give us the adjunct of A. To transpose means to change all of the rows into columns and vice versa. So this row right here now becomes a column, negative four, negative three, negative four. This row becomes the column two, two, negative one, zero, and that becomes two, one, and two. This matrix is the adjoint of A. Now we have to find the determinant of a three by three matrix, and we've learned a trick on how to do this. It's not hard to do. You'll rewrite these two columns right next to the last, one, negative one, and two, two, zero, and four. The trick that we learn is that we add up the product of the diagonals, subtract the product of these diagonals. So starting with the product of the diagonals moving to the right, one times negative five times zero is zero, plus two times one times two is four, plus negative two times negative one, that's positive two, times four is eight. And we will subtract this from the product of the others. Now we'll multiply negative two times zero times two, that's equal to zero, 1 times 1 times 4, 4. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10 times negative 1 is positive 10. This leaves us with 12 minus 14. That means the determinant of A is negative 2. According to the formula, we now reciprocate, where we end up with negative 1 over 2, and we'll multiply negative 2 to this matrix. This means that every element here will be halved and multiplied by negative one. Having that gives us positive two, and of course we're applying the negative. That becomes negative one, negative one, positive three over two, half, negative half, positive two, zero, and negative one. What you see right here is the inverse of our original matrix. Of course, we've done videos where we have found the inverse, and as you can tell, this is not the most efficient way to find it, but the formula is useful for proofs related to the inverse. There you have it. That is how to find the inverse of a matrix using its adjoint.